Hey, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Corbett, and I'll be your host today for Europa Universalis 4. Welcome back to episode 6 of Rotway Rat into the Mongol Empire run, where we have a lot of things to do today. But before we really get into a lot of things, I have to mention something that I've been forgetting to mention pretty much every episode, and that's the Discord. So pretty much it's uh, it's sort of been around a little while, but I forgot, I forgot to mention it in pretty much everything I've done so far, despite the fact that it's going to be rather important, you know, considering the kind of unique things that are going to be happening on the Discord community in the future. So you might want to join it, you know, just in case. Uh, and while you're at it, like, I know oftentimes when I'm watching Let's Plays, I just straight up, I binge the whole thing. And I just end up forgetting to subscribe. So if you're, if you're just like waiting around for the perfect opportunity, there's never a better moment, so... Just go ahead if you're really feeling like it. But anyways, we have to continue our great Oirat run today. And I was hoping to get a war with Chagatai. Now, I'm not sure how much that's going to happen, to be honest. I was just sort of hoping we'd uh, see some action today. Because, I don't know, I've been in the mood for action recently. We need to, we need to see something burn today. I don't know. Pre preferably something that's okay to burn, like in a game. Duh. But anyways... We have lots of things to talk about, and the music's kind of loud. Maybe not the best music for an intro, that was probably my bad, but... Let's try and get our economy and our manpower into fighting shape for the next war, because... I mean, this war that we had over here was a little cost-y... Uh, not very great for not only our economy, but of course our, uh, our manpower. Our manpower's been kind of lacking, not gonna lie. Uh, and of course, we also have to do a couple of things here um, to make this war the best we can possibly make it. And to do that, we're going to need to have kind of Kazan on our side. And that's not really the way to put it, but I do need to have them like me. Um, basically, I just don't want to fight them. So if we can give them like a small... I don't know, is that like a good enough gift? Because we are rich, right? Because we stole all the money. So we'll give Kazan a gift. See if they'll like us a little bit more. Uh, we probably reduce some debt that way, actually. Uh, but no, they like us. Okay. They like us. That's solid. Um, because if they like us... Oh yeah, there's minus 20. Um, in fact, they love us. Okay, that's exactly what I needed. Fantastic. Okay, so uh, if they like us enough, then they won't join the war against us, which is what we need. Because Chagatai is not very strong. Um, I don't think at least. 20,000 and 30,000 manpower. The manpower could be an issue. You know, we ha we do have to look at that. But, hmm, I'm not entirely sure to be honest. Uh, I will of course take the national tax because the one thing we need more than anything is of course the manpower. And having increased national unrest, not really a thing we can really afford to deal with right now. Uh, another thing I kind of want to look at is the fact that eventually we'll have to fight another war with Ming and we'll have to keep a close sort of eye on what's going on down here in, in China, of course. Uh, we're gonna see a whole bunch of new tags here. I thought it would be Yi down here. Oh yeah, they're okay. There's some Yi separatists, a couple of Dali separatists. So we're gonna see two more nations pop out of here. And I was sort of thinking the best thing we could possibly do is make it so that no one else can get claims. Because if you're bordering the Celestial Emperor, you can take pretty much... You can just take the Mandate of Heaven. The Mandate of Heaven, we kind of need to get rid of. So, let's see how this sort of goes down. We sort of need to snake our way across here. Uh, make it so that no one borders them except for me. Because then I can isolate the Mandate of Heaven and take it whenever I so please, which might be in one or two wars. And by take, I mean I just need to extinguish extinguish Ming and, and do that whole thing. Um, the only issue is that snaking across from here leaves their territory over here open, so I'm wondering are they going to lose this territory first? Who knows? That's why we need to keep a close eye on how things are going. Uh, oof, jeez. Oh, and this is a new a new tag as well that uh, has been recently 
added into the game. I don't know what to think about this tag, actually. Because, like, it's... It's unique, to say the least. Um, usually most nations would just colonize these areas, but, uh... I don't know. It's, uh, it's an interesting dynamic they've just added in. Also turn down that fort, and turn down this fort over here. Our money's not looking so good, which kind of makes sense, to be honest. Uh, I don't think we have any unrest in most of these areas. It would generally be over here, yeah. But uh, as of right now, I'm still kind of looking for a, a war with... Uh, oof, jeez. Is that really Mong Mao declaring war on Ming? Huh. Interesting. I never thought I would see that day, but something new every day, apparently. And we have a couple of Separatists over here. Thankfully, they didn't spawn on Shenyang, because that's uh, more China area than anything else. So let me move these guys kind of generally over here. So we can fix the whole issue. Um, is it is it Mongols? Is it the Mongolian core? I think it is, meaning it's just better if we lose it. We'll, we'll get it back once we full annex, or not full annex, obviously. I mean, uh, Diplo annex, whenever that will eventually happen. Yep, eventually. Just gotta wait for it. <sighs> like everything else. But anyways, we don't have the right Diplo advisor to fix that right now, so we'll just have to, we'll just have to let it do its thing, let it go through the whole natural process. And yeah. We also have a lot of separatism in other areas, and I'm wondering, should I just boost autonomy in some areas? Maybe I should. I was thinking over here. Um, slow down a bit of separatism. I mean, this area, it's it's a 7, so it hurts a bit to raise that up, but I can't afford to, to state court anyway. Oh, it looks like Mongolia is being rather, rather generous today. Hmm. Taking care of some rebels for me. Quite nice of them. So we're going to move over here and over here. And prepare, of course. Wait for these cores to be done so I can work on the last ones. I hope the music isn't too loud. I noticed it's been a bit quiet, so I did amplify some things. Uh, you're going to get there on the 10th. You're going to get there on the 21st. That is not at all a good time. You'll get there on the 21st here. I want you on the 20th, if I can. Just slow down time a bit. Uh, there we go. Just to make sure we get everything at the right time where we want it to be. Hopefully this goes well. There you go. Try to minimize those losses, if you know what I mean. So we really do need to conserve manpower as it is, which is a bit unfortunate. Of course, we can do some things, which is like improve professionalism, then slack in recruitment. That's always an option. I'm, some, I'm not really opposed to that. But uh, drilling is expensive as well, so... We'll just have to see how the situation plays out. Starting off with uh, a couple of these things, just here and there. Yeah, and what's really annoying is this is just, it's not going to go down for a while, is it? Mm -mm -mm. Not for seven years, which is a whole lot of fun. Oh yes, lots of fun. Anyways, uh, we can actually take the next tech now, because we don't actually have any penalties. Meaning I will gladly do so, if it means we'll uh, get an advantage over our enemies at some point. Alright, so now it's time for the next idea group. Do I know what to take? Well, I didn't know what to take for the first one. You think I'm going to know what to take for the second one? Of course not. But anyways, we'll try and figure something out between episodes, probably. Um, just so I can get rid of this idea group, I'm probably just going to pick something random. Like... Uh, offensive, sure. We'll, we'll, we'll take that just as a, as a sort of placeholder for now. Because, well... Again, it's a horde thing. I don't know what to do with horde things. I just know how to do monarchy and somewhat republic things. Not not so much horde things, though, so... Again, I'll have to figure things out over time. 
A good suggestion though was actually Aristocratic, because I can stack massive bonuses with my uh, cavalry cost and combat ability, which looks spicy. I also do get Autonomy Change and the Absolutism. I mean, overall, these first three are fantastic. This one's pretty solid, this one's pretty solid. I gotta admit, it's really not the worst thing I've ever seen. I might go with Aristocratic for the first time in my entire life. I know, it's surprising, but new things all around here. Who knows? Aristocratic might be the best possible option right now. Not that I would know, of course, but, you know. Ah, <sighs> Yeah, big old learning experience going on. Let's get you over there, too. Slow that down if I can. In fact, can I, can I just get rid of that? Like, the harsh treatment isn't entirely worth it, to be honest. It is just one province there. But the one province is going to rise up in 5.7 years when it's going to take 6 years to, uh, to actually get rid of that unrest. So, yeah, this will be interesting. I don't want to keep an army here. That would be so annoying. But if Mongolia wants to deal with it for me, then that's great. I'll just kindly move these troops over here. In fact, that's, that is what I'm gonna, gonna end up doing, to be honest, so. We're gonna move these guys over here. I don't know if this is gonna be a manpower positive war we're pulling off here with Chagatai. Uh, I should hope so. But we really have no clue until we actually try it ourselves. Now, these Yarkan Separatists, I don't really want to fight myself. Uh, so if they end up over here, then you know what? I'll let them do their thing. I'll let them go, just do do their own thing until I'm ready to to go ahead and clean up, but anyways, it looks like uh, Mongolia is getting pretty close, 90.5%, that's going uh, to give me their army and full cores, state cores as well, on all of these things, which is fantastic, because although it's not much money, it is, I think, going to be the same autonomy, unless it... Does it bump it up to 75 when I full annex? And then when I state core, it starts to tick back down to 50? That is an interesting thing to, to think about. Or maybe, yeah, I think, it, I think it would still just start ticking very slowly back down. But anyways, I, I do need to, to, to diplo annex, so regardless. Regardless of what happens. And I mean, we do make a decent amount of manpower each month. Uh, what I do need to do... ...is really pay attention during this war. I mean, I need another general, first of all. That's just something we have to do. Um, so let's start with... Actually, can I recruit a minister for you? Because I have the feeling maybe, um... ...maybe they would have increased bonuses if they had more power. But I guess that's only if they're really happy with you, which they're so-so with me. This leader is eh, not bad, good for fighting, not so much sieging, but that's fine. Because what we're going to do here is probably a lot of sieging. So, let's see how this whole thing goes. Um, no matter what we take, which I'll probably take you men, to be honest. Uh, or Hammy. How about Hammy? Yeah, let's go with Hammy because it's closer. So, the great war between the two bitter rivals begins. And we'll see how uh, how the whole thing plays out, of course. Um, I can convert to Tengri, although it's not really in my best interest to currently do so until I have religious ideas, which, now that I think about it, might be the next best thing to take. And speaking of things that required men, I think it might be also in our best interest to take this national focus of uh, of admin simply because well admin is going to be our econ ideas um, hmm but now that I think about it I can't take religious ideas until the third group if I keep economic ideas mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sorry but in three tax, we'll be able to take level 10, which will probably be religious. So, I think it works out in the end, actually. I think we'll be okay. Speaking of other things that require 
uh, admin points. I think I'll take our stability, because this one stability allows me to do a few things. First, religious sacrifices, which is nice. Um, next, I wish I was at peace for this, because I probably should have, um, but I would get national unrest decrease uh, once I finish this war. So, when I finish this war, I'll be able to do that. Now, you might be wondering, hey, Corbett, why didn't you go to Hammy if that's the war goal? Well, I think I did last see their army over here. And so, if it's lurking around the corners over here, mm, I'm not going to like that very much. So, keeping these armies nice and tight together, nice and close, is probably in our best interest. Not only that, but it's time for probably some of the some of my favorite music in the whole game, as you guys know by now. Because of course, the uh, some of the new music added in Golden Century is some of the best stuff I've heard in a while, to be honest. But that's neither here nor there, because we have a war to focus on. I don't see them anywhere around here, and they, they're not sieging this back down yet. Which makes me feel a little bit more safe being around here. Now, it's definitely going to be a manpower negative kind of war we're doing here. Hmm. They're taking the long way, are they? Well, let's get Mongolia on defensive. Just in case. Because it looks like they're doing something weird, just going all the way around. And I, that's, that's uncomfortable. That's all I can say. I also still don't see anyone around here. So this is risque, but I think I'll take this chance right here. Just to see if there's an army over here. Mm, I'm not seeing it. I am not seeing it, to be fair. Shagatai is doing their best. Oh, they're up here. That's where they are. Ah, oh, I should have guessed, of course. So I'll take the capital. Yes, okay, exactly as scripted. Yes, I'll take the capital now, and then it happens. But anyways, I'll move over here. It looks like they're moving into here, which is mountains. I don't want to attack that, even if it is my territory. I'd prefer if I were the defender. So we'll see where they're going. Uh, it looks like... Oh, jeez, you're not... You're kind of speedy. A little bit too speedy for me. Which is not fun. This also gives my armies a kind of opportunity to uh, regain some men, which is nice. And I will pay off those decades. Those decades? Yes, those decades, of course. Because why not? I'll also do a time check, because I try to want to keep episodes around a similar time length now, which is <laughs> different than what it was before, to be frank. So one army is moving towards the Mongol capital. Another one is sort of doing its own thing, to be honest. I'm not quite sure. Uh, oh, and they just lost the ruler out of their own territory. Not their, not their ruler, their general. They just lost out of their own territory. So, looks like uh, that was a big mistake, wasn't it? Another mistake is how I've been, you know, getting these armies grouped up together, which is giving them so much attrition. It's just, oh, it's just unhealthy to look at. I'm sure your doctor wouldn't wouldn't recommend looking at such disgustingness for extended periods of time. So, I know you've been yelling backseat gaming over there, saying, please, get your troops off of each other so that they don't keep getting attritioned. I'm just doing my best here. But anyways, uh, you keep moving over here. Uh, yeah, you'll just stay here, actually. Integration is, of course, also a slow process. So look at this. We just got Mongolia, meaning uh, we'll have to <laughs> deal with these ourselves. But it does mean um, we do have a couple of troops over our limit. Um, yes, over our limit, to say the least. Uh, now, I can't do many too much with these, which is unfortunate. I do have to disband. And these two I will split in half. Um, Overforce Limit is still ridiculous, because we have quite a few Overforce Limit, actually. That can be solved slightly with this button, kind of. Uh, giving us a cool four troops over. Nothing too awful. Right, done. Um, so we have the subject, integrated, united, whatever you want to call it. 
Um, we can't, of course, form the Great Yuan yet, but we can claim the Khanate, which is beautiful. I do get 20 Horde Unity, which is something I was kind of lacking. And then I get Unite the Mongols, which is, well, I just get an event and permanent claims, which is beautiful. So let's see what this event is. We get... Oh, hmm. We could become Mongol culture, but do I want to become Mongol culture? Who knows? I'd prefer to stay as our culture because I'm not sure the Mongol culture can perform the Great Yuan. It's probably quite possible and very likely that it, that is the case, but just in case, I don't want to make a bit of a stupid mistake. So... Yeah, everything will change to Mongol culture, or I can accept Mongol cultures. And I get max 3 promoted cultures, which means I get an extra promoted culture. So, I think this is actually the better one. Getting the accepted cultures, because I do get that extra one, which is very nice. And, having more accepted cultures is one of the things we need in... The Age of Absolutism. So, I think it'll be nice to have more promoted cultures. Okay, so that's done. We haven't quite done all of these things yet. So, we still have a little ways to go before we can uh, really do that. We do need to move into here, apparently. Which makes sense. That's part of forming Yuan. And then, of course, reforging the Great Yuan probably needs me to take, I don't know, five to ten more provinces around here. Rule over the steppe would, of course, need a lot of things over here. Uh, to which I can apparently restore the Ilkhanate. I don't think I become the Ilkhanate. But I do get an event that does something similar to that, at least. I don't know, at least in name. So these guys who are slower will go ahead. And they'll get there on the 22nd. You are a little bit faster and we'll get there on the 20th. And I think I want you to be there first because... Um... Actually, yeah, we're, we're gonna have rulers... Uh, not rulers, psh, leaders with good maneuver, meaning they're going to get the, uh, the actual crossing penalty, which is not how rivers work, because we did just walk into Shenyang, but I don't question it. We're just going to take the dub and move on. So that's over with. Uh, we can also move down here. We can also move, I don't know, over here. We have these guys who are still costing me boatloads of ducats, but we'll, uh, we'll put them to good use. We'll, put, we'll definitely put them to good use. Uh, the numbers are looking nice. Things are looking up in some sort of fashion. We just need to really quickly move these guys over, or else we're going to have some issues. You know, I have to admit, having Mongolia was kind of nice. They were kind of useful, time to time. You know, I kind of like that. Um, on the bright side, they haven't re-sieged this. They haven't noticed that it's the Oracle yet, which is good. So, hopefully they never notice, and you were actually supposed to keep going. Maybe you weren't, but now you should at least. Ah, oh, we lost the siege of the capital, though, which sucks. Really, really does suck. But the numbers are looking nice again. Mongol ha uh, Mongolia has been integrated. I'm feeling pretty good about that, um, considering I can actually make states now. See, look, they're all pretty much just full cord free states, which is nice. It's really nice, actually. Um, in fact, that should give me a slightly larger... Uh, what do you call it? Land force limit, right? I think it'll take maybe a month to take uh, to take effect, of course, but... You know, we'll see. Um, you're the one, you're the... Uh, I don't really want to do this. Unless I have like a two to one sort of thing going on here. I'm not too keen on fighting. Unless I have a rather serious absolute advantage. Um, we'll get there on the 17th. You'll get there on the 5th. I don't like that. I really don't like that, to be honest. So I think I'll uh, take a look at where you plan to go. Oh, Navy, <laughs> Navy tradition as if I have a Navy. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> yeah, thanks to you for You always know exactly what'll take the biggest effect. But anyways. Oh, this looks like something I'm interested in now. 
Yes, very much interested in. Come on, give me this. I do have the disadvantage, but the first troops that I was fighting should have a massive effect because I was outnumbering them rather significantly for the first few rolls. I think is kind of the proper term. I don't know. What am I like? An EU4 professional? No, I'm just like some some kid on the screen or whatever. But I do have some knowledge of random EU forwards, and I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. But anyways, yeah, excuse my random ramblings. As we continue our well, kind of successful war. I I don't know what to call this. It's been a ride. That's all I can say. Um, I'll leave these guys on the war goal, of course, just in case. Kind of important. Um, you guys lose some of your things. Oh, right, I can raise the host and contribute warriors now, which is nice. I also have these guys who I, I should be making doing, making do things. Yes, that's English, I think, at least. Yeah, uh, I'm also going to raise the host, contribute the warriors, support the tribes, blah, 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 blah. All the important things, so let's start by raising the hosts. And we're gonna give him a little bit more land. I don't know what to give him, to be honest, but... What do you get rid of? Manpower? Okay, so... Really none of this matters, but, um... We'll give him something. Things with high autonomy? Probably pretty decent to give him. Um, and considering we... Can't really give them that much more influence. Because, of course, um, actually, I can just give them a lot of stuff, can't I? If I give them a lot of things, then we should find uh, ourselves not only in benefit, but they'll have a lot more influence to work with as well. So we'll give them a lot of things. I feel like I probably overwrote, like, one center of trade, but it's not like we can really do much about that anyways. It's... You know, whatever. Um, so we'll take the manpower, and then of course we will get rid of these regiments for the 17,000 manpower we got, which is pretty good. You know, gotta admit, it's not shabby. Um, so we should get a lot of reinforcement. We should also have a higher force limit. These guys are also going to die unless I group them up like this. And move them out like these guys. In fact, I think I'll move them together to give them a kind of kind of a shot at living, maybe? Um, not too sure if that's gonna work out, but we'll, we'll do our best, at least. We should also do a time check. This war's been going on a little while, so let's give it a shot, see where we're at. We're sitting at 28 minutes, which is a little bit longer than I would like, but anyways, we have still yet to finish this war, so unfortunately, we do have to put a cut in here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. We will finish the war next time, next episode, episode 7. Anyways, this is Corbett signing off. Hoping you had a fun time here, and as always, have a fantastic day.